This episode sponsored by our viewers. Thanks to folks like Ellie, Ivar, and Connor, we've been able to continue producing episodes. Our most dedicated sponsors are those that enjoy the show. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Eric Schomer. Today we're going to create the the cocktail with, I say, has to be probably the longest name we've done thus far to date. Long. Even with the Common Man Cocktail in front of my cocktails. Still, banging the captain three ways on the comforter. Cocktail. I'm going to leave out cocktail because if it cr crops it off, it ends up just saying cock. <laughs> and it happens sometimes. <laughs> that would fit, though. It, Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it would. But it happens a lot, unfortunately. Um, so this recipe, for the name length, it's only got two ounces of alcohol. So light body, probably, or at least light, probably not light body. It's got some OJ in here, some pineapple juice, but light on the, the alcohol. So that could be good for those lightweights. So we're going to do an ounce of spice rum, and it's going to have to be Captain. So I could have used private stock, but I went old school. I'm going with the actual Captain Morgan's, the one I can actually put in my lapel if I had one. And no, pocket the lapel is not the same. Lapels are right here. Yes. That's a pen pocket or something. I don't know. No, I thought that was. No, I don't know. It's a pocket. I thought I had another fancy name to it. Anyway. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's not lapel. In my lapel, <laughs> little Soko. We got 100 proof here, though, so that'll help. One, we're going to fill one third of uh, the glass with cranberry juice, orange juice, and pineapple juice. So I'm just going to build it in a, in, a, in a Collins glass and throw some ice in there. See what we can do. Let's get it done. So we'll do an ounce of each of these. This should pretty much tap out. Oh. Come on. Oh well. I won't overdo it because then it's not for lightweights. So there's your Southern Comfort. Most people probably have a bigger bottle of Captain. I don't because I don't typically drink standard Captain Morgan's. I drink really only private stock because it's much more tasty. This is too watery for me. Not enough spice. But I know most people don't have private stock. Because it's private. That's right. So one third, we're gonna have to eyeball this. Look, it's a layered cocktail. Until they all mix. This yeah. is true. Then we'll do a little stirry stir. Try to get some of that Southern Comfort in Captain Morgan to play well with the juices. In certain drinks, like we did last week, and people were like, oh, you're only tasting pineapple juice because I think it was Chewbacca because the Jaeger was see that the Jaeger was near the bottom. You still get it when you sip it; it still flows in. Just it's it's more subtle. So you, that pineapple is your attack. It keeps the alcohol from just attacking you in the face. This one, there's so much juice that I'd rather be able to taste the whole experience all at once. It's a weird color. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Really, it's kind of like a, like a peachy brown color. Yeah, I can't even come up with an analogy for what that could be. Maybe a really weird cider. Yeah. Like a peach snapple. Yeah. Wow, the alcohol does still cut through quite well. It's weird. Like I even have a, f like the the alcohol aftertaste. Now, the only problem I find, and this is not the cocktail's problem, I don't really get a lot of spice from this. Maybe once upon a time, when I used to order Captain, Ron, uh, Captain and Cokes when we go play pool or whatever, sometimes they fully load that thing with Captain too, so it's a little more obvious. I used to get much more pronounced spice, but since I've moved on to a lot of different spiced rums, some that have like more allspice or some that have cinnamons and all those different flavors, Especially the private stock, wherever the hell that is, maybe in my private stock someplace. Um, 
those just cut through a lot of things and they bring a lot more spice. This is so much more subtle than that. Most of the flavors I'm getting are from the Southern Comfort, I believe, just because we've done a few of those in the recent weeks. Not, ba not bad. The cranberry adds a neat little dryness, a little bite right around here. Orange juice, you could definitely taste that texture and the pineapple juice tropicalness with the Southern Comfort. And maybe there's some Captain Morgan in here someplace. Personally, if it were me and this is the only thing I have, I would do two to three ounces of the Captain Morgan and one ounce of the Southern Comfort and then I feel maybe I'd get something more out of it. But that's banging the Captain three ways on the Comforter right there. I don't know how I'm gonna fit that in any of my titles because I always proceed with how to. I guess we'll leave that out this week. It's going to say how to bang the cat. Yeah, because it will, it will be, the yeah, it's going to be, yeah, we'll just leave how to out this week. <laughs> All right, everydaydrinkers.tv. That's TV. a totally different video. Yes, that's a video where we'd make a lot more money. I don't know about that. Well, me. In HD, come on. <laughs> and now you lost all your viewers. <laughs> We're teaching you how to drink.